All right, guys, we are headed to our local farmer's market. Yeah! But we got a package in the mail yesterday, and I'm super excited because I know what it is, and it is perfect because it arrived just in time for our farmer's market. Oh, I already know what this is. Oh my gosh. Okay, you ready? No, 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 no. Oh no, my no. gosh, it's, oh, it's here. It's here. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. We got our farmer's market shopping bag with our Barefoot Harvest Homestead logo on it. We did this at Teespring and we are so excited because now we get to buy all of our goodies from the market in this reusable shopping bag with our logo on it. I'm so excited. What do you guys think? Love it! Like Love it? it! What do you think, Izzy? Okay guys, so as you know, we have chickens. Well, fun story. One of them hopped over the fence and they were literally in oh the, the outside shoe box in the front yard. I think it might have been a... Uh, did it have the puffy cheeks? It was not Muffy. Okay, it was Muffy's sister. It was not Muffy. I know that. No, that's her name, not Muffy. Uh, okay. okay. Well, not Muffy got out. We have Muffy, and then we have not Muffy. <laughs> we like Muffy, and she does not lay a good egg, but not Muffy lays a good egg. <laughs> okay, so the difference is they look identical, except Muffy has these big, poofy muffles over her face. She has little like cheek puffs and then Not Muffy does not have the cheek puffs. Wait, since when did we name her Not Muffy? Since we got her? I thought Story named her Starry or something. Oh, those are the new chickens. Oh. Not Muffy is one of the older ones. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, happens guys. It happens. Thankfully it was raining because that's why she stayed under the porch. Yes. We're gonna have to clip her wings because she's figured out how to get over the fence. You know what? Something I find crazy, this is the weirdest thing I'll ever Jaden. Something I find crazy is I see homesteaders all the time keeping their chickens in those like electric net fencing that are like four foot tall and those chickens don't escape because mine are inside of a like seven foot tall uh, fence and they're always getting out. What is the deal, dude? Did I just have like crazy chickens or what? Serious question. How do people keep their chickens in four foot fences? Watch it. I'm serious. Watch it happen to you guys. After we say like, it, oh, it happens to nobody. It's just us. It's ridiculous. Well, I, I know that it's possible for those chickens to escape, but obviously that system works for everybody else. So is it because it's electric and the chickens have learned not to go near it? Why don't they fly over it? Why do my chickens have the ability to fly over seven foot fences? What the heck? Well, what the heck, dude? Well, maybe it's because we haven't trained all of their wings in like a month. Does everybody trim their chicken's wings when they have fence? Oh my god. Is that what I, well I don't know because I trimmed, I trimmed Icy Pop's wings when she got out and destroyed our garden for like the 600th time. I got irritated and trimmed her wing and then, what are you doing? And she's still getting out. So why are we filming? Is this a good angle, Jaden? Yes. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. We're going to get a farmer's market haul video up for you guys soon. We officially moved the little chicks into the coop. 
Alright, come on. Oh, hi, honey. Let's show them what's going on over here. So look here. We've got another spear coming up. We've already harvested this crown twice, you can see. But here's another spear coming up. And then over here, look how big this one is. That's a big beefy one. Look right there. There's another one. Yep. And another one. And then another. right there where Zoe is. <laughs> that's another one. And right there, another one. Okay. Our asparagus bed is oh, getting... Another one, another one. Where? Oh, right there. Oh, yep. I see it. Right here. Oh, yeah. It's so tiny. I couldn't even our see it. Our asparagus bed is coming up. Okay. Here goes our very first blackberry. Mm. Let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're all gonna take a bite of that. Wait, hang one. on, hang on. Hold on. Story's gonna pick one. It's right here. Oh, that's a big one. That looks like a cat faced one. Alright, Zoe. Mm. Give it a taste. Ooh, is it so good? Story? <laughs> fresh out the shower, eating fresh blackberries out of the yard. Good. It's so good. Our cucumbers are doing Cucumber. super well. There are so many flowers, we're not even gonna know what to do with. All right, so this is growing inside the girls' fort where it's coming through. Um, we use her, their fort for like a trellis. So they think it's the greatest thing ever because they are going to be able to come in here um, and sit and pick cucumbers and have uh, chamomile flowers for their tea. So they've got cucumbers and tea in their fort just growing. Chamomile. This looks like the Armenian white cucumber. Um, and so right next to it, this looks like um, the either the marketer. So I'm not sure. Remember, they all kind of got mixed up when we oh, planted them. Here's so we're gonna be waiting for marketer cucumbers, Armenian white cucumbers, um, white uh, wonders. I found this kind of note. You found a note? Is it a secret note? Nope. <laughs> it's just a plant tag. Our passion fruit vine is getting some new baby growth. And I was kind of super worried about the way we just um, sunk this pot because I wanted to be able to move it if I needed to. Um, but it's happy because it's growing new, growing new leaves. Also, remember when I gave up on the Kobachi peppers? Here came one. After we decided they wouldn't be in this area anymore. <laughs> so, there it is. Happy. Here's our tomatoes coming out with their very first set of flowers. Well, the one behind it has flowers too. I planted Sun Gold Select 2, and then I also planted um, Purple Russians, the ones that came free in my Baker Creek order. So, they seem pretty happy. My tomato plants here, however, as you can see, got totally stripped by chickens. They'll recover. There's enough leaves to do uh, what they need to do to recover, uh, photosynthesize and whatnot. But it's definitely going to take longer. But tomatoes are pretty sturdy, so they'll be okay. So here is our orange glow melon, which we kind of just put this little impromptu trellis up the other day and I just spotted some flowers on the back side. They were hiding behind the foliage. There's a couple back there. Then we've got our moon and stars melon which is actually flowering like a champ. There is one, two, three, let's see there was a few more over here, four, Five. There is a handful of flowers. But the moon and stars melon looks like it's going to be a good one for us. 
All right, here is our mammoth melting peas, which are finally getting themselves together and growing up the trellis. And we have some stuff floating around our garden, which we're gonna have to share with you why that is in just a little bit. What are your guesses? Leave us a comment. Tell us why you think there's fur all over our garden. All right, the next and probably most exciting thing is check this out. That is our first okra. We have okras coming. Oh, I'm so excited. This one has a bit of the flower left, um, but you can see, oh, and that is sad. That was a little baby okra that I just totally knocked off, but that's okay. I won't cry about it. And right next to that is the uh, black eyed peas, which have flowers on them as well. Oh guys, everything is happening. All these flowers. There's the beginning of our cow peas. So exciting. And then right next door is our squash, which already has little squash forming. I don't even know if you guys can see that. The, fra the flowers are really fragile, so I knocked our very first one off. But right behind that flower is the start of the squash. We've actually got a few on there. One, two, three, four so far on this tiny little plant. It's so crazy. I didn't think it was very happy because it's so tiny for a squash, but it's doing awesome. We've got some marigolds that are happy. Our ground cover herbs are all super happy under there. Look how tall our sunflowers have gotten though. Pretty tall. And our carrots are gonna be ready. We might harvest a couple just to see. Look at that. Yeah. See it? So exciting. Our calendulas are happy. Look at that. This was the first to bloom, so it's already starting to go to seed, which is great. We want to harvest that. Look at these beautiful blooms. These are attracting all of the pollinators that we want, and then we can use those calendula yeah. to our advantage. We also let this dandelion stay at the border. We've got our first nasturtium. So if you guys remember, these are edible flowers. You can pick these and you can decorate your salad with them, or you can eat them straight from the garden. But they make a very pretty um, vining, crawling plant, and you can eat the flowers. Here is our corn that we just planted when we pulled up all the bok choy. And some of our bok choy that we let go to seed. And we will harvest those. Look at that. Hello, look at your beautiful pollen pants. All right guys, look at that. Look at that. Blueberries. We will save this one for Jaden since she didn't get to pick a blackberry. How exciting. Blueberries. There's a blueberry right Blue, Yep, mm-hmm. Our cranberry hibiscus is putting out a little bud. Um, which guys, if you don't have a cranberry hibiscus and you like cranberries, get one. You have to have one, seriously. These leaves, just like this, you just pull them off the plant and stick them in your mouth. It explodes with cranberry flavor. It's so good. So not only are they gorgeous, I don't know if you can tell how rich that like crimson color is because the sun is just shining so bright right now, but they are so, so yummy. You can stick them in your salad. You can snack on them in the garden. It's All right, guys, and for the secret 
that Miss Clover has been hiding. What's in there? Good job, Clover. <laughs> you want to hold it by your face? Here. Oh my goodness, look how big these are. That is just so awesome.